Today is Friday, aka Fry. Yay! Okay, um, so for today's Friday, I am introducing you guys to a brand new game called Dragon Ords. If you guys have ever played like Blocks Piece and Grand Piece Online and any of those open world adventure games at like level cap where you find ords and you do stuff, this is the game for you. Dragon Ords is just released like a few minutes ago. Maybe a few hours ago, I actually don't know. But I hope you guys are excited for this. If you are, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, turn notifications, and let's go ahead and get to the intro now. So, we're loading in to Dragon Orbs, created by Blocks Crafters. If you don't know Blocks Crafters, they made many cool little games like Destruction Simulator and some other things... I actually don't remember all the games off the top of my head, but whoa! Dragon Ords is like Dragon Ball Z. And if you guys know me, you know that I like Dragon Ball Z. So this game is going to be very cool and hopefully I fall in love with it. So when you click start here, you get your main screen. Okay, first of all, I'm going to take that little like uh, thing up top right there because I can use that as my thumbnail. Boom, okay. There we go. Dragon Ords, click play, low quality mode. If you have a bad computer, I just play on low quality mode. Let's go ahead and click play, see what happens, because I actually have no idea. Welcome to Dragon Ball Z. In today's episode, no, I'm just kidding. Welcome to Dragon Ords. Next, the Ord Dealer is an NPC that sells Ords that gives excessive access to unique powers. Spawn points will allow you to set your spawn. Quests are the best way to earn EXP and yen. Okay, so wait. Shift to sprint. Control to block. Ah, oh, why can't like right click the block? C to charge and Q to lock on. Okay. Follow the arrows to receive your first quest. Okay. So there's all those things again. Stace to double fly. Oh wait, I can fly with double stace star. Okay. Wait, that's kind of cool. Look, I'm flying, and then I can sprint fly. No way. And then I. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, the sprinting animation is so cool in this game, guys. Okay, hold on. All right. That guy's already level 205? Okay. Let's go talk to Bulma over here. Click to open. Defeat six robbers requires level one. Do you get 300 Zen and 250 XP? Um, how do I attack the, them, though? Uh, I'm assuming these are the guys. Oh, click on one. If I click Z, I can use a sledgehammer. Oh, that's my attack. Sledgehammer is my attack? That's so cool. Wait, do it again. Okay, okay. But what? That was actually pretty cool. Oh, wait, C to charge, right? Oh, don't attack me yet. I was charging, you noob. Get away from me. Yeah. Oh, this is literally just like the Grand Tees game. If you guys ever played this, guys, it's pretty similar, not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and charge real quick. Boom. I think shift lock would be the right way to play this game. So I'm gonna try it with shift lock in just a moment, but I personally like being able to hold my right click mouse button and like moving the camera. I don't know why. I just got so used to doing that that it's just what I like to do. We leveled up. We've destroyed three of these six robbers. We're gonna destroy some more though because we gotta complete the quest for Bulma. And then once we do complete that quest, we'll kind of go see what we can do over here. Powerless? What does that mean? Do I? Wait a second. I'm holding C. You guys see this? Am I about to transform? Okay, maybe I can't transform just yet. But I did charge up completely, and it maybe I do more damage now? I, I can't really tell what holding the powerless stuff does, so... Okay. Whoa, wait, wait, wait! Punch and Mastery level 2? If I keep punching, I will be able to level that up. Hmm. Maybe the secret technique to level that up is to get, like, a ton of health, and you kind of just sit here attacking these guys AFK. I don't know, but anyways, we managed to destroy that quest. Let's go ahead and turn that back into Bulma. She's probably going to give us a second, the same quest again. So, yes, let's accept it so we can level up more. But then, before we do that, let's check out what else there is to do in this game. So, there's a menu here. Let's check it out. Store, stats, and allies. Well, my ally's right here on my right side. You guys see him? Yeah, he's really cute. Uh, anyways, stats. Melee, defense, mana, and orbs. Hmm. <clears throat> so apparently, ords will spawn every hour and will despawn fairly quickly. You can buy store ords that are in stock from the ord dealer in North City. So I'm assuming this guy is what they mean. Uh, oh, the ord dealer right here. Talk to the ord dealer. 
I am the dealer of ords. Do you want to dry? Do you want to buy dragon ords? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, these ords look so cool. Jiren, Rage, Angel. Okay, I do want to buy Bob. But how do I buy Bob? 50 Robux. Oh, wait a second. Can I buy any of these? Can I buy the Demon for 75 Robux? I'm doing it. I don't even know what these ords do. Then buy myself an ord. 75 Robux? Mine. What does it do? Sword Strike. Oh, so I get their abilities! That is kind of cool! Okay, so with the ord, you get like the player's abilities, which is pretty cool. I wonder if you just punch, you can level up your mastery. Or if you have to punch something. I don't know. Anyways, ord dealers over here, guys. As you guys can tell, there's other areas we can travel to. So, level 35, 65, 90, 140, and 225. I want to see if I can see these areas from the map real quick. Uh, hold shift, right? Oh, I don't have any more charge. Hold on. So, it seems like in order for you to fly, you need to have more charge. Oh, that charges up really fast. Okay, I'm going up as high as I can. And that's good. So, we have this world. I do see an island over there. Okay, so it looks like those are the islands that you will be traveling to. I don't actually have enough like energy to get there really fast, and I don't think I'm allowed to go there yet because of my level. Oh, maybe I am. Can I charge in the air? Oh my god, you can charge in the air! I lied, you can get there. Hmm, that is pretty cool, and it looks like the map was like showing you exactly where they are. I know that for a fact I'm the really weak going over here, so I'm just gonna check it out for a second, see what it looks like, but... Looking at that map, that map looks really cool already, so I'm excited to see what this is like. Ooh, is that Krillin? Master, or not Krillin, sorry, that's Yamcha. Oh no, it's Goku! Oh my god, no! No! Oh my gosh, I did not even want to get close to you! Well, at least you spawned here in Spawn City. Uh, make sure you guys like the games, get these codes unlocked. You walk to these guys, set your spawn. There you go, yes, my spawn point is set. Last thing I can do, I guess, is talk to this guy, the random dealer. Let's see what he has. Do you want to buy a random ord for 25,000 zen? Level 50 required? Well, I guess I can't do that. Let's check out the stats. Okay, let's increase our ord stats. Our melee? Our nana? Ooh, that looked like it increased it by a lot, actually. More damage. And one more ord to do more damage. And then finally check out the stores. Oh no. There's game passes! Alright. I think for now, I'm gonna get a couple game passes. You know what? Please like the video and then get all the game passes. My name is Bruce Hayes, and, and welcome to my TED Talk. Um, once at the end of this TED Talk, I'm gonna begin by saying, do not do this, guys, because this, this is not worth it, you know? It, it's just not worth it to be like this, so don't do this. Welcome to my TED Talk. Goodbye. <laughs> Anyways, here's the advanced scatter. I'm getting all these game passes. That is why I have Roblox, guys. I just spent literally so much of my money my actual money to get all this so please like the video it really does help me out and and it will it'll make sure that i'm not actually poor once this video is over oh there's the flying endless we'll get to check that out buy the z sword for 1249 roblox and finally the ord finder i know that the ord finder is actually really extremely op um something like that will help you find those ords that you guys saw in the shop it'll make you extremely extremely strong Let's just go ahead and get one hour or two times of speed loose. Maybe that's how they're already like level 100 and... What is it? 100 and... 205! I lied. They're level 205. So we got all the stuff over here that we can possibly get. Charge up our attack real quick. Go over here to Dolmen's Quest and destroy these Rattlers. Ready? Let's see if I can use this Z-Sword. Oh my god, it does 25 damage?! That's insane! And I can use the Sledgehammer attack, which is nice. And that one doesn't do as much damage, actually, I lied. So maybe I won't be doing the Sledgehammer attack. Mastery level 3 with the Z-Sword. Oh my god. Wait a second. This is pretty good. This is pretty good, guys. Looks pretty good. Let's attack one more round, and we're done with the quest, actually. And we're nearly level 7. Oh, we're level 8! Alright, yeah, it seems like game passes are kind of broken. I'm telling you guys. Click to open. Let's get one more of these quests. I think that's what I'll be doing for now, guys. I'll just kind of be questing around. On my uh, flying Nimbus. Oh my gosh. Do I even. Oh! Wow, you go so much faster with the flying Nimbus and Sprint, and it doesn't take any of your energy. So, flying Nimbus is the way to travel if you're trying to travel around the map. Let's take a look at this map real quick. Are there any more enemies we can fight in this zone? 
Uh, there's these guys. Oh my god, no! I don't actually want to fight you. You know what? I'm gonna kill you. Oh, just kidding. That's it. I'm gonna end the video there then, I guess. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Um, hopefully you enjoy this. I definitely like Dragon Ball Z a lot, so I'm gonna keep checking it out, and maybe I'll get to that level cap of 500 if you guys want to see that. So, comment down below if you do. I'll see you later. Reese's Deeses. Bye!